Hello guys, uh, we'll be talking about a few shortcut techniques um, in uh, data interpretation. A lot of times we do talk about data interpretation uh, as graphical representation. Right? We normally call it graphical representation of uh, any kind of data. Now if we look at uh, any kind of graphs, you know, uh, one set is already mentioned here and straight away move to a few questions and sets. See this is basically graph. Now, if these people wanted you to do calculations, you know, any questionnaire, any kind of questionnaire, if they wanted you to do calculations, they would have given you a table. But when I talk about CAT or any management interest exam, even bank your exams, table is a different thing and graph is a different thing. So, as soon as we talk about graph means, can I solve questions graphically without using lot of calculations, right? So, in this session, what I am going to do is tell you a lot of shortcuts you know which will be very useful in solving graphical questions of course in table questions uh, the shortcuts will be different so let us see how we can do that let's open this question now it's a very simple graph i have actually taken these sets from actual ct or cat papers and then giving you shortcuts here the number of boys and girls in five different colleges right now let us see this this is boys and this is girls okay that's easy to understand and then questions are based on this simple graph let us see the question is the number of girls from college A is approximately what percentage of total number of girls from all the colleges together this is a simple question what they are asking is number of girls in A is what percentage of all girls together right so if I look at this here number of girls in A is this right and he is asking question is asking you basically this divided by all these together added together a very simple question now. What people will normally do? This is approximately 2750. Okay, I am not going to waste you know your much time in doing actual calculation. That is something you can pause the video and do on your own, right? You will get the right answer. What people will do is 2750 divided by 2750 plus this is something 4000 plus this is something 30,500 and all those things. All those calculations you can do on your own. You don't need me for that. Another way of doing it is, can I take all these as blocks? Just treat these as your blocks. So this is block 1, block 2, block 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Now once I have treated all these as blocks, please understand I am not going to solve this question in this manner also. The manner will actually be very different. And if these are blocks, so can I say this is nothing but 5.5? This block is at 5.5. Now this is 8, so 5.5 5 plus 8 plus 7 plus something, something, something. I am going to solve a few questions based on the blocks also. Let's see the real shortcut. Let us say, let us say all these women or girls were equal in all the institutes. That is the main shortcut here. Let us assume girls in all colleges were equal. There were equal girls in all the colleges, right? So let us assume there were 10 girls in all each college. So every college has got 10, 10, 10 girls. So can I say my answer will be very simple? 10 divided by 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, which is 50, which is nothing but 1 by 5. Right? Now will this ever depend on actually how many girls were there? Even if there were 100 girls in every college, each college having 100 girls, your answer will still remain 100 by 500 which is 1 by 5 I hope if that is understood the question becomes very simple right? in reality of course the number of girls is not equal but let us assume they are equal so let's assume every college has got, has got equal number of girls so your answer is nearer to 1 by 5 but since it is not equal let us see now okay let's see it this way 1 by 5 should be my answer 1 by 5 is nothing but 20 percent 1 by 5 is nothing but 20 percent now can I say this will not be my answer, this will not be my answer. I have already ruled out two options without even actually solving the question. Of course this explanation has taken some time, but once you know this explanation, once you know how to use this technique, two to three options are gone. Now let us say, now just look at this. A looks is very small compared to B, C, D and even E. So that means A bahut kam hai. B, C, E, D, E, everything is more than A. That means my percentage is to come more below 20. 
बहुत ज्यादा ट्वेंटी के नीचे आएगा दैट मीन्स इवन नाइनटीन इज रूल्ड आउट ट्वेंटी थ्री इज रूल्ड आउट ट्वेंटी वन इज रूल्ड आउट दैट मीन्स माई ऑप्शन इज इधर सेवनटीन और फिफ्टीन राइट नाउ दिस इज समथिंग वेर द कॉन्सेप्ट ऑफ एवरेज कम्स इन टू पिक्चर राइट इफ यू लुक एट दिस इट्स इट्स ए इज फार फार बिलो कंपेयर टू बी सेम थिंग वेन वेन आई लुक एट डी ऑल्सो सो सिंस दिस ए इज you know very very uh, it's not near to these numbers it's very below these so your answer will be approximately 15 a better way of solving these questions right let's go to another question now yeah these are the questions which i really love you know where the options are very far away from each other and you don't have to look at look at you know look at this also right just look at the question and get your answer i'll tell you how question number 2 says Total number of boys from colleges B and D together is approximately what percentage of total number of boys from colleges A, C, E together? He is asking B and D के boys, boys from B and D is what percentage of A plus C plus E? Of course, your normal method is add all these numbers and get your answers. Let's not do that. Let us assume boys in all the colleges are equal. Each college has got equal number of Boys, equal number of boys. Forget the diagram. Now, if number of boys are equal, can I say your answer will be approximately two by three? I hope you understand this. Why? Because whether the number of boys is ten in each college or whether the number of boys is hundred in each college, your answer will invariably come to two by three. What is two by three? Sixty-six point six seven percent. That's it. Assuming all they are equal, that means this option is ruled out. This option is ruled out. This option is ruled out. I'm left with these two options now, right? Which again are quite far from each other. Just look at B and D. The boys. D has got the highest number of boys compared to all other boys together. Not exactly together, individually. If I see, right? Now since D has got highest number of boys, when I compare each college individually, that means can I say my answer will be a bit more than 66.67? Approximately 70% or something like that. The only option left is option number five. No calculation required. Nothing required. You can pause the video, do your actual calculation, but in reality, it is not required. And so often, I am telling you, all data interpretation question. If you see, if there are 10 questions asked on data interpretation, at least seven will be based on these kind of shortcuts. Let us see if I can solve a couple more questions here. Average number of boys from all the colleges together. Of course, we need to understand the concept of averages here. Right? Now let us see this. These are the boys. Now I need to find out what is the average number of boys from all the colleges together. One way is very simple. Add this, 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 and this, and divide by five. You get your answer. Again, see, please understand. All these questions will be on computer, ma'am. Now, see, all examinations have gone online. If not online, I must say computer-based exams, right? So that means you will actually have to see this question on a computer and then solve it. So you cannot actually keep, you know, looking down and write, and then again look at the computer, write down a number again. It becomes very difficult. Can you solve this question exactly on computer without using numbers? Let us see. Now, when I look at the concept of averages, let us see this. Of course, you cannot have these markers on computer. You just have to use your imagination. When I look at average, I'll just you know briefly tell you. Four people have got seven 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 rupees each, and the fifth person has got let us say two rupees. The meaning of average is average of all these together. If I have to find out the meaning of average is take one from him, give it to him, it becomes three. Take one from him, give it to him, it becomes four. Take one from him, give it to him, it becomes five. Now that means he has got six, he has got six, he has got six, he has got five. Take one from him, it becomes six, it becomes six. So what what we actually do in average is take from people who have got more, give it to those who have got. Less. That is the basic concept of averages. If you understand this, trust me, a lot of DI questions becomes very easy. Let's see. Can I take something from this man and give it to someone called C? Take something from D, give it to C, right? So I have taken one block from D, given it to C. So C comes here, and even D comes a bit on the lower side. Take something from this and give it to Mr. B. Half a block. So this is here. 
right? You just have to see again. You can, you don't have these options of using markers, right? You have to do in your head. Let's say so. Basically, I reduce this, increase this, reduce this, increase this to a certain extent, right? So basically, I got one number here, one number approximately approximately here. And if I got one number here, one number here, that means my answer has to be a bit more than 3500. Just by looking at the diagram, you can understand. What is the most important is two options are ruled out just by looking at the diagram. Please understand my explanation has taken almost one minute, half minute, right? But in examination, when you do, it shouldn't take much time. Right? So at least 3500. Now, 3550 is as good as 3500. There's not much of a difference, but when you look at this number, it is still come here, right? So you need to give more to you know people who got less. So your answer will be approximately 3650. Of course, if you want, see, please understand this is a better shortcut. If you want, you can use blocks, as I told you, use the concept of blocks. I'll separately take this concept of blocks in a separate uh, uh, session. Yeah, this is one of the favorite uh, questions from my side. What is the difference between total number of boys and total number of girls from all the colleges together? You, you can just uh, pause the video and uh, solve this question. You know, it's, it's, it, it, it's quite simple looking at the question, but when you start solving it in your normal manner, it will definitely take a lot of time. Let us see if we can solve it with a shortcut. Of course, the normal uh, method is add all the girls, get a number x, add all the boys separately. Get a number Y, deduct one from the other and get your an answer. Let's see if there is a shortcut really. At the end of the day, what I need is difference here. So, just look at this. All these red marks, if I check. So, any difference between male and female or boy and girl here is useless. Right, difference between that. See, understand here. This is only this much more the mark I'm making. So, why take all these numbers? Why take all this? This calculation is just not required at all. Just, under, just take the direct difference rather than taking full calculation. Just take the direct difference. Now, look here approximately 1.5 block more. The triangle, I'm not even going to talk about boys and girls, just take triangle and uh. What is this? This you can take it as rhombus or anything, right? So I'll take it as triangle and uh, rhombus. Triangle is 1.5 uh, block more, and here exactly the opposite is happening. That means the rhombus is 1.5 blocks more. Both will cut each other. At the end of the day, you have to find difference so on one side. Basically, boys are more, on another side, girls are more. That's it, right? Again, I'll explain you. Here, the number of girl, here the number of boys is more by 1.5 blocks. Here the number of girls are more by 1.5 blocks. Both will cut each other. Question. That means basically there is no difference between these two. That becomes easier. Similarly go ahead with the next thing also. Now look at this now. Here the triangle is less which is exactly one block. Triangle is on the lower side. But here the triangle is on the higher side. Right. So just cut this one block and this one block. Two blocks are out. Now I am left with half block triangle mode and half block triangle mode. Basically, one block triangle is on the higher side. One block is nothing but 500. Your answer is 500. Question solved. Right? I'll keep again. I'll just explain it again. This we could understand, right? Why? Right? Triangle is more exactly one and a half block, and here the diagonal or uh, I'm sorry, I, the rhombus is more on one and a half block side. This is wrong. Now, when I look at this, here the triangle is on the lower side by exactly one block, but here the triangle is more by one and a half block. So, right now I'm just cutting this one block. So, one more block gone, right? Now, if you see here also the triangle is more, and here also this triangle was more compared to you know girls by half a block. So half block this, half block this, next final rate, you should solve it. Of course, again the explanation took so much of time. If you solve it in exam, it won't take much time. I hope you like the shortcuts. That's it. Thank you.